Hi again, this is Dr. Alvis at Montgomery College, and I'm going to talk about consonants and vowels. To get ready for an introductory linguistics class, you need to know some basic information about consonants, such as the sounds p, b, m, f, v, and other kinds of consonant sounds, and vowels, such as uh, e, u, a, and uh, others. Uh, by the way, I'm a native American English speaker, so that's the kind of accent I'm going to be talking about when I talk about these sounds. Now, you probably haven't studied phonetic transcription or phonological systems yet, uh, so I can't be too technical, and I'll just focus on general ideas. When you do study phonetic transcription and phonological systems in your Introduction to Linguistics course, you will learn more precise technical concepts and terms to describe these speech sounds. So, uh, consonants and vowels are two broad classes of speech sounds, and there are subclasses uh, of them, but for now these two categories are enough to start. Uh, when humans speak, consonants, uh, they reduce the, uh, or stop airflow, while vowels generally do not. In English, like the thousands of languages in the world, consonants are usually at the beginnings of, uh, or the ends of syllables. Uh, vowels tend to be in the center of syllables. So let's consider a few simple samples. Uh, say the words beam, dig, and nut. Okay, say them, and notice how your mouth forms these words. Okay, which sounds do you think are consonants? At this point, pause if you need to. So let's underline the consonants in these sounds. The b and m of beam, the d and g of dig, and the n and t of nut. All right, uh, so what that means, if these are the consonants, that the things inside are the uh, vowels inside of the uh, syllables, in the middle of the syllables. So regarding vowels, uh, if you've ever learned the, that the English vowels are uh, A, E, I, O, and U, that's only somewhat helpful. The problem is that in English, spellings of vowels are, are very complicated, kind of mixed. When you take a linguistics course, you'll get a clear understanding when you learn to transcribe vowels and analyze their features. The spellings of English vowels are very inconsistent, and the same letters or combinations of letters often have different sounds and different words. Notice this in these three words, through, though, and thought. Okay, these all have O-U-G-H, but each has a different vowel sound. Uh, this uh, oo, this o, and this aw. So this is a good example of separate, uh, separating English spelling from actual speech sounds. So we've considered the basics of consonants and vowels, and we've looked at some of the problems of connecting English spelling of vowels to their actual sounds. In the next video, we'll see more details about consonants.